Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel and to episode number 11 of my lipstick roulette series. If you haven't seen my previous episode I will have those listed here up in the cards as well as in the description box below. And this project was started by LS so I will have her channel in the description box and I will also have some other ladies that are doing this project as well. But uh, this video is a tiny bit late but considering last week's or last episode was a full week late I think this is okay. I have worn all of the shades on my lips throughout an entire day sort of and I will <laughs> let you know what I think about them in this video. So uh, let's just get into my update. Let's start with the one I am wearing on my lips currently and this is the L'Oreal Lip Lacquer in the shade Gone With A Nude and this is a really pretty glossy nude. This is as I mentioned when I pull this one of my favorites in my collection. It's a really nice like everyday shade that I can just just throw on and then just go out the door and it's super comfortable if I want to reapply throughout the day and it keeps my lips very moisturized for a very long time. So I will definitely be keeping this in my collection. I This is the only shade I have of these uh, sort of lip lacquers because I believe that another maybe like a darker shade will not uh, go so well in this formula because that might like smear around my mouth and on my teeth but for this sort of formula and this shade uh, I do really really love it so I do recommend this one I haven't tried the other ones and I don't know if I would recommend those and then we have the Maybelline Color Drama Intense Lip Paint in the shade Stripped Down and this is a more pink shade than the L'Oreal one or this is a bit more pink and I really love this as well. I love the formula. This one is a bit thinner but I think that's because it's a bit old. So I'm actually going to put this in the pan category. I would keep it because I really love this but I think that it's uh, getting a bit old and I would need to repurchase this so I'm going to put this in the pan pile with the intention of panning it soon in the future. But I do really love this and I do recommend this as well but you need to sort of use them quickly. Then we have another product from Maybelline and this is the Vivid Matte Liquid in the shade Nude Thrill. And this is also a very like lightweight formula. It's not drying at all. It doesn't really dry down. It dries down a tiny bit. The difference between this one and the others is that this one is more matte when it comes out of the tube. So it's almost like a mousse when it comes out of the tube. I do like this formula. I think it's a bit slippery and I think that you have to have very moisturized lips when you use this. I have had a cold like last week and so I got pretty dry lips and also we're moving into like the cold with the winter. So I have had uh, pretty dry lips and then this is not like the most flattering formula but I do like this and I, I will be keeping this in my collection. Then we have a Cold Pop Lipsticks and this is in the shade Cami and this is in the Matte X formula. I really really like this color and I really really like this formula. It's very comfortable on the lips and the as I said, I really really like the colors. I do like these like darker, warmer nude on my nudes on myself. So I will definitely be keeping this in my collection. Okay, so next up we have the Carl Pop lipsticks in the shade Baywatch, and this is in the matte formula. This color is a lot prettier than I remember and I need to remind myself to reach for this often because it's a really really stunning color. I have been layering it with the shade Baby Doll from Sleek which is like a baby pink color. You can see it's a bit dirty from layering but these work really really well together and I really like these types of shades as well. I had one lipstick in this a project previously which I can't really remember what it was called but it was like a dark purple and I feel like this is what I want that to be like more comfortable and this is a tiny bit lighter and a tiny bit warmer so I will be still be keeping both of them in my collection but yeah it's it's stunning and this sort of reminded me to use this more often and then we have a Carl Pop Ultra Matte Lip in the shade Naughty so K-N-O-T-T-Y and this is a very nude sort of warm nude color and when I wear this I feel like it looks very pretty on me but it's a very very drying formula and 
because of that that this will be going in the maybe pile because I'm not sure I want to keep it in my collection when I have so many other lip colors that are not drying on me but at the same time I do really like the color of this one so this will be going in the maybe pile and this is part of the same like holiday collection I think it was two years ago where these were also in that collection so they have like black uh, packaging but yeah this will be going in the maybe pile and then the last lipstick for this round is a kiss me lipstick in the shade crush and this is a really pretty sort of orangey fiery red color it does look a bit more red on me I think than it looks in the tube I don't know if it's my coloring but a lot of lipsticks look more red on me than I think they will look so yeah uh, this is a liquid lipstick formula this is a bit more drying than the other kiss me lipsticks in my opinion or like they have like a slight sort of gradient the kiss me lipsticks some are not as drying and some are a bit more drying this is on the a bit more drying side and I actually got uh, I will swatch this one. So here is a swatch of a crush but I actually went traveling like two weeks ago and then I met up with uh, Kena and Sarah in Seattle which was like super, I don't know if I talked about that on my channel uh, yet but I will be because I will be posting like a haul of the things I got in Vancouver uh, or in Vancouver and Seattle and then I will sort of talk more about the experience and my trip to Vancouver and Seattle but when I was there uh, Kena actually gifted me a few lipsticks and a few eyeshadow palettes and one of the lipsticks was from Melt and this is in the shade Bang Bang and this is a very like fiery orangey red so I will swatch that next to the kiss me lipstick so here is the kiss me lipstick and here is the shade bang bang and I feel like bang bang is what I want the kiss me lipstick to be like this is a bit more red and this is a bit more orange so the crush lipstick will be going in the maybe pile because I think that like comparing these two I will want to keep this but I'm not really ready to make that decision yet because this is very new in my collection so yeah it will be going in the maybe pile and of these two I definitely recommend the uh, melt lipstick so yeah those were all of the lipsticks that I have been wearing for the past week or so like a week and two days and as I promised in my last update I would do sort of like a update in this video of how many lipsticks I have gone through in this project and then also how many of them I've kept and sort of the statistics of how I'm doing in this project so far and in this update I have a pool 70 lipsticks and sort of reviewed or gone through 70 lipsticks and of those 70 lipsticks I have kept 38 and uh, so that is 54 percent so a Bit more than half and then of those I have decided that I want to pan 10 of them and that is 14% and then in the maybe pile we have 13 lipsticks which is uh, almost 20% like 19% and then I have decided to declutter nine of them so that is 13% and I think that's sort of I don't know I like those statistics that's like 50% that I've kept and then 50% that I'm sort of either decluttering panning or uh, not really sure about so so far I'm pretty happy with that so yeah I will leave these statistics in my description box and then I will leave it there and sort of update every time so I will see where my percentage is at and I think that might sort of motivate me to get rid of more lipstick so sort of get me down to the 50 50 sort of mark but yeah let's move on to the best part of the video pulling new lipsticks for it the next two weeks so as always here is the box I have put some new lipsticks in here I bought like a set on Sephora uh, so I have some new in here but yeah let's just pull seven okay so that is seven okay so let's see what we got the first thing I see here is the buxom lip gloss in the shade dolly and this was actually in that Sephora set excuse my hand it, I, I have some old swatches here but this is the shade dolly and this is a very like nice neutral everyday sort of lip gloss for the shade of it and then we have one other lip gloss that I have never used before and this is the Steve La Laurent 
a red dress lip gloss. Ooh, that's pigmented. I actually sent one of these to Rebecca because I had two. And so I give the one to her, but it's, and I've never used it, but it's really pretty. Okay, and then we have two bullet lipsticks. One is this uh, Peggy Sage 460. I don't know if that has a name, but it's a like darkish purple lipstick. It's not as scary when you swatch it as it looks like in the bullet, but yeah, I had one of these that went bad. You could really like, as soon as you open the bullet, it sort of, it smelled really bad. But, and I bought those at the same time, but this still smells fine. So I'm still going to use this one. But as I said, that is what that one looks like. And then I got the uh, Clinique, what are these called? Clinique Pop Lip Color and Primer in the shade 04 Beige Pop. And this is a nude. And here is that one, what that one looks like. So it's a really pretty everyday nude. I do really like this one actually, spoiler. <laughs> and then we have three liquid lipsticks. So let's start with this one. This is the Hello uh, Colourpop Hello Kitty Ultra Setting Lip in Tiny Chum. And I don't think there is a ton in here because I tried to pan it last year and I got pretty far. Here is what that one looks like. It's like a cool toned uh, pink or cool toned nude. Um, and I got pretty far, but then I have barely used it since then. Or like, I think that was like earlier this year, I can't remember. But this will probably go, if I have to predict something, this will probably go in the pan pile and something that I am going to pan pretty soon. And then we got two Kiss Me lipsticks and this is in Happily Ever After, which is like a warm pink shade. And then we also got this shade Tease, which is again a dark red. So I have a lot of these like darker Kiss Me lipsticks, so I will definitely not keep all of them. But here are the shades that I will be wearing for the next two weeks. I'm pretty excited. Uh, like I have some fall shades, I have some nude shades for like every day that I feel comfortable in. I have the pink and the purple that sort of will challenge me a bit and also the red. But yeah, I'm happy with this selection. So yeah, that was everything for this update or this episode. Give this video a thumbs up if you like this product as much as I do. And please consider subscribing if you haven't already and if you like my content. I will have some links to some other projects in my description box as well. So you can go and check them out. And I will see you in my next one. Bye!